Hey guys, today we got in our other two windows. Now, as usual, um, I will share where I get stuff from. So look down below the video and you're going to see the link. And the best seller for these is Amazon. They want 30 bucks for these on eBay and other sites. Even their own site is $5 more expensive. So if you go to Amazon, you get them for about $21 to $23. Depends on your shipping area. Let's go open this box up and I'm going to show you these little windows that have been installed in this trailer so we have two different sizes let's open the box and see what we're working with okay now we've got them out of the box and i'm going to show you what you get these windows are the smallest that you can get for windows that open up so uh, you can get an idea of the size of the window there's tape measure sitting on it and it's a very small but convenient window now you get these windows and when you measure you have to measure your jam window frame and these are 12 and a, about a 30 second outer diameter is 13 and a half so your flange depth is about an inch all the way around. I think the bottom is about seven eighths, seven eighths, uh, a little over three quarters, a little less than seven eighths. So you're you're basically, as long as you have three quarters of an inch coverage, you're good. Um, a half inch for your screws, you're all right. Now this is a little window. It's not very big, but it's a little window that opens and has locks. It has the full complement of everything that you want. It's also tempered glass. Let me turn that one around, and you'll see what you get here. It is a tempered glass window, perfect for these little trailers. The screen that's in it is removable, so you can lift it out. And we're going to be putting a window in right over here. So I've got the hole cut to put the window in right there. Now that way we have these little bitty windows that keeps this trailer secure without worry of someone breaking into it. Now the other window on the other side, that is a little bit larger window and it is, um, it is designed to also become an escape window because the way the RV is set up, this, or this trailer, the door is up in the front quarter of the trailer to go out so I decided in the rear quarter of the trailer on the opposite side to put this one in because it's big enough for a person to get out of um, I'll grab my tape measure here it's actual physical opening is about 13 by 17 and a half when you pull the screen out on our trailer, if anybody's been watching the series of videos of building this up, we have the license plate light, the tail lights, the very bright backup light, and now we have the air conditioning unit. Inside of the windows, they fit perfectly in an inch and a half frame. So if you have an inch and a half stud wall, um, it fits perfectly in it. There's the framing for the window, pretty simple. This isn't very hard to do. So if you've got a cargo trailer, you can actually just take a sheet of plywood and mount the sheet of plywood on your metal and install the window. The uh, heater unit is gonna be one of our next projects mounted over there on my fender I built. And let me get this window here installed and show you how easy it goes in. Not very complicated and just using regular window silicone, that's it. When we put the silicone on, we're just using the standard DAP molding doors, windows, interior, exterior, clear. And when we put it on, this is corrugated. So that means it's got ripples and we're going to put it in just a little deeper in those places and then put about a 3 8 inch wide bead down the rest of it. A little thicker than a regular bead, a little thicker right there, regular bead, and just on we go all the way around it at about a quarter inch off the rim so we're gonna have a nice seal so the same thing here and up here at the top we will do the same thing 
and I usually put a doubling up here at the top to where I have a wipe down joint, a little small one. And then once again, where the, especially where joints of metal will go together, we'll do that. And then thicker in the, in the divots or the impression parts of the metal. And then make sure your work's all good as far as that. If you see any shallow spots, you want to put a little bit more in them to guarantee that you don't have, you want it to all push out. You're going to waste a little silicone at $2 a tube. That beats the hell out of a leak that could cost you hundreds. This original frame cut is, is going to be 18 and 5 16 top to bottom. Side to side will be 12 and a quarter, just a hair over. You want to get just surpass it because your wood will shrink and contract a little bit. Your aluminum will shrink and contract a little bit. Temperature changes. You don't want it to be wedged up against anything in that process. And I use the rubber washers. Do not use the screws. I do not use the ones included in their little kit because those are just not very good. They're cheap. But you want to use this type of a screw right here that has the rubber washer on it because when you tighten it down, it still allows movement against the rubber versus steel against steel or aluminum against aluminum. Now, what we start with is we start with moving the window around, kind of seating it, centering it up best you can. And I'll put one in the bottom and just where it touches good and you don't want to over tighten these. I'll put one in the opposite corner once I've checked it for movement. Make sure it's movement has a little bit of free play in there. And then we'll put one in the opposite of the top up here. Same thing. You just want your rubber washers to just compact on there. Now, if you're worried that somebody can come and take this out with a quarter driver, yes, they can, all of them. And then they've got to peel this away because this is an adhesive caulk to get it loose. Now I'll go ahead and finish it up, putting them all in. But don't over tighten these. You'll notice it'll make huge deformations in your window if you put these and crank them tight, tight. But it's a pretty simple install. I'll speed the video up here and you'll see how they all go in and I'll have Daniel run inside and open this window up and show you how well it worked. Now, little window, the size of a tape measure, that's right up against the screen, that allows air in, keeps criminals out, unless they're gonna send their kid in there to unlock the door. There you go, guys, 22 bucks, 21, 22, sometimes they're 23, depends on your shipping area. Uh, but typically 21 to 22 dollars you'll get one and they're nice very well built all right guys